hello, hello, Libra, and welcome into Speak Life. My name is Mia. Today, we're going to be pulling out weekly messages. Please, Universal Energy, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, let me get four messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Four messages. All right, we have one. I need three more for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please, Universal Energies, Spirit Guides, Ancestors. I need one more for Libra. Okay. Okay. Um, so we have here Clockwork Pumpkin, a wonderful idea and aha moment. Some of you recently either learned something or realized something. This is a big eye opener. This is saying, holy shit, like I didn't see that before. Um, you also have here the death and the maiden invasion about um oh my god boundaries violated and i don't know this is like the maybe some of you are with somebody who is very dominant okay um maybe you're the dominant person okay somebody has invaded your your space somebody has invaded your space they're running shit you know um, storm angel collision of beliefs styles attitudes and energies okay so if some of you are in a, a relationship with somebody definitely you do not agree on the same beliefs you agree everything is different okay this is the storm angel this is somebody coming in and saying you know what we don't even fucking match anymore okay the energies just don't match listen when your energy matches somebody else's energy everything is smooth fucking sailing and if everything is you know crazy it's on a roller coaster emotionally physically mentally and everything you know with that um you know you're really not in a good space you're really not okay so you have here also grumpy red f fairy be your true self listen there's no reason for you to hide who you are in front of anybody okay if you are feeling as if you are grumpy, let it be shown, okay? It is better to, you know, some people are passive aggressive. They they contain it, they contain it, they hold it in, they hold it in, and all of a sudden, there's an explosion. You know, this is why the storm fairy is here, you know, the storm angel. All right, let's see what we have here for you. Please, universal energies, three messages for Libra, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. <clears throat> Wow, the world. So some of you, are, let, let me tell you something. This is you graduating from a situation. This is you ready to open up the world to something brand new. This is you going around the world and learning a lesson. Some of you had an aha moment over this lesson that you learn, over something that opens up your eyes. Um, let me see. Okay, there we go. We're going to take these. Okay, you also have here the chariot. It looks like somebody in the past moved on. Somebody here um, has no intention on returning, okay? Um, I feel that you are moving on. It looks like you've been fighting for a relationship, Libra, and you've been doing it by yourself with no support from anyone. Um, this other person is not investing, okay? You're investing everything by yourself, Okay, you also have here the Ace of Wands, looking for a new love cup. Okay, I'm going to say it like that. I don't even think it's a love cup, you know, because it's the Ace of Wands. It is passion, but at the same time, um, you know, it is not pure love. It is almost like, like I don't know, kind of like a lusty love. You know what I mean? Like a lusty love, like something that's fiery. All right, we're going to see. We're going to see how these clarify, because I'll tell you, clarifiers change the story, okay? Why is the world here for Libra? Why is the world here for Libra? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please, universal energies, spirit guides, ancestors. Okay, let's see what we have here. Wow, Ace of Swords. Okay, so there's some truth. There was some truth here that was spoken, some truth here that was realized, you know, with this aha moment, because this is also, you know, coming into clarity, 
you know, coming into clarity. The new world is here. Some of you have made it clear. Okay. All right. Did you see the way that came out? It was, it was not only the deck was backwards, but, um, there's a devil energy. Listen, whatever fuckery you guys have been part of, okay, it is karmic. It was only here to teach you a lesson. And now for some of you, it is time to let it go. Why is the devil energy here? Okay, page of swords. <clears throat> it looks like somebody opened up their mouth and spoke something about the truth. It looks like there was a delivery of the truth, okay? Um, why is the chariot here? Chariot. Six of Wands. This person moved on, okay? Um, whatever the situation was, you know, somebody here moved on. Somebody here moved on. Somebody here is, is, is ready to start a new um, cycle in their life. I can't even try to say anything more about that. Like, that's it. Um, seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Did I just... Oh, I thought I dropped a card. I did not. These universal energies. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Seven of Wands. Five of Pentacles. Left out in the cold. Left out in the cold. Left out to money struggle. Um, for some of you, this is a feeling of, you know, having to... This is having a lot of regrets. This is having, um, you know, putting in a lot of time and effort in a situation that just didn't pan out the way you want it. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Please, Universal Energies. Third-party energy here. Okay, so... For some of you, I'm going to tell you right now, you're fucking married. Okay? There's a marriage card here. And there's also an Ace of Cups. So listen, I even predicted the Ace of Cups before it came out. So you have here two new beginnings. Ace of Cups. The long reading. Fuck. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Ace of Cups and Ace of Wands. All right? Thank you so much for being here. I hope that this was able to help you, Libra. And take care.